Okay, everyone, today we're going to be seeing what would happen in a battle between a T-Rex and a Spinosaurus. So in the movie Jurassic Park 3, a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex actually fight each other. And in that movie, the T-Rex actually ends up losing. So today I wanted to use a real-life physics simulator between animals called Animal Revolt and see if that would really happen. Would a T-Rex actually lose to a Spinosaurus? And then we'll be simulating a battle royale between some of the most vicious dinosaurs from the past to see who would actually come out on top. Okay, so we've got T-Rex, Spinosaurus, Allosaurus, Carnotosaurus, Cryolophosaurus, Dionanicus, and Velociraptor. Now, despite what you learned on Jurassic Park, look how small the Velociraptor actually is. It's tiny. Okay, three, two, one. Oh man, they're teaming up over there. He just got tossed. T-Rex and Spinosaurus are taking care of the bigger ones. Swinging them around. Oh, and he's down. Velociraptor's down over there. Oh, look at him on the tail of the Spinosaurus. But T-Rex has got him around the neck again. Oh, and he's down. Done. <laughs> wow, he makes short work of that. Okay, now let's see how the T-Rex would fare versus a modern animal. Here's an elephant. And go. Oh, he's taking it down. Look at him swing it around and throw it. Whoa, that ended fast. <laughs> now let's see King Kong versus T-Rex. In the old time movie, King Kong actually beat T-Rex, but let's see what this looks like in this simulation. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, look at that hit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he's got a hold on T-Rex. Oh, man, that is a bite on his face. Look at those punches. <laughs> King Kong wins. Okay, now let's see one T-Rex versus a ton of Velociraptors. Three, two, one. Oh, look at him converge on him. Oh, that is crazy. Oh, just like that, he's gone. Sorry, T-Rex. You were outnumbered on this one. Okay, now let's just get crazy here. <laughs> T-Rex still comes out on top. So the Spinosaurus lived 10 to 30 million years before the T-Rex. But I've always wondered what it would look like if they were actually to fight each other. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex was around 43 feet in length and weighed around 8 tons. It had a six and a half ton bite force, and it had around 60 teeth in its four foot jaw. The Tyrannosaurus Rex had a huge head that it could ram stuff with. Now the Spinosaurus was a little bit bigger than the T-Rex actually. It had a length of around 57 feet and weighed around 9 tons. But its bite force was only around 2 tons. 
but its arms were a little bit longer than the T-Rex and it could make huge cuts in other dinosaurs with it. Technically, the Tyrannosaurus Rex had a larger brain and was smarter than the Spinosaurus, so it might fare a little bit better with more dinosaurs in the ring. Now, when two animals are fighting, a lot depends on the initial first bites. So depending on what happens in the first few seconds can determine the rest of the fight. So I want to see what happens if I give them at least three rounds to fight in. This is a fight to the death. Okay, Spinosaurus versus T-Rex, round one. Three, two, one. So the Spinosaurus is taller, so it can get above the T-Rex a little bit. But the T-Rex, once it gets a hold on the throat, it's over from there. With its strong bite force, it can just crush the Spinosaurus. Look at that. Oh, done. <laughs> okay, let's see round two now. Three, two, one. So on this one, the Spinosaurus actually got a good bite on the T-Rex. got his arm. Look at that. Uh, it looks like the Spinosaurus won that one. <laughs> so the T-Rex is trying to get below it using its head but the Spinosaurus has a bite on its skin in the back. The Spinosaurus is trying to get its huge mouth around the T-Rex, but it can't quite do it. Oh, the T-Rex got him by the neck again. <laughs> And victory to the T-Rex. So in the end, I think it would be Tyrannosaurus that would win over Spinosaurus, even though Spinosaurus was a little bit bigger. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.